All right, so in today's video, I got this topic submission from Jessica Alaya on Instagram. She says, Hey, Maury, I know you're always looking for video topics, so thought you might be interested in talking about this story a bit. It's a situation about a TikToker named Jenny Popuk, who is a minor who posts very suggestive and spicy TikTok content. She's also advertising herself on a platform called Fanfix, which is very similar to OnlyFans, where she will sell suggestive pictures and videos of herself. Again, she is supposedly a minor. Now, upon visiting this website called Fanfix, I've never been here before but um i did decide to visit it and uh it looks pretty basic it says fanfix clean exclusive behind the scenes content from your favorite creators so obviously it's just another patreon type only fans type model and by the way only fans was originally for content creators who wanted to sell exclusive content to their fan bases however you know when stars strippers and a whole bunch of other instagram models decided to take over the website to you know and on this website it looks like they have different categories gaming stonk fitness and a whole bunch of other genres of which creators can stream under so for for now I'll just pick lifestyle this girl right here she's charging twenty dollars her name is mj i select that and it's already asking me for my name and my card number so obviously this is just a only fans ripoff with just a different ui but if what jessica is telling me in this dm is true that this girl named jenny popik who is 15 years old according to famousbirthdays.com if she's out here using that website fanfix.com to monetize her body to her fans i would not be surprised i mean we are living in a day and age where i mean this shit is kind of condoned and perpetuated in society nobody seems to really give a fuck anymore so yeah we're the generation of social media go on twitter instagram snapchat tiktok a good chunk of the girls 70 to 80 percent of them that you see on there you know doing all those dances shaking their asses and doing all these kinds of busted down challenges are most likely under the age of 18. but anyway her message also goes on to say and this other youtuber i follow named drama queen recently posted a video about her i believe she has also made a video talking about jenny in the past and now drama queen is receiving harassment and threats from someone telling her to take the video down probably her manager or her mom because you know they're making money from her jessica also says i'm worried these videos might end up being taken down soon so thought i'd share with you asap i don't usually do this kind of thing reaching out to youtubers but i believe you have the ability in the audience to spread awareness always really love your content man keep doing what you do well thank you for that jessica i appreciate the topic submission so what i'm about to do here is go to the first link you sent me and here it says this is sickening and this is from the youtuber drama queen i'm familiar with her work i've watched a couple of her videos years ago she she does good stuff. I'm gonna take a listen to what she has to say in this video and yeah, see what the situation's about. Okay, so since I don't want to be playing her video like that in this video, I decided to watch a little bit of it. And basically, she's just talking about how this 15-year-old girl, Jenny Popik, has been banned from TikTok, I believe, for doing sexually suggestive videos, right? And for trying to link other websites to where her fans can purchase things from her. She also mentions Daniel Cohn, of which a lot of us are familiar with. She's also another girl who's been lying about her age for many years, you know. I think she's around 15 or 16 now as well, but years ago, she was claiming she was like 14 or 15, when in reality, she was 12 years old. And at the time, we already know she was selling her body. She was monetizing what essentially was explicit content of a minor. Jenny even hopping on that website. And I, I suppose it's because OnlyFans tries to verify your age by identification in multiple other ways, whereas Fanfix, they do not do this. And you can just hop on there, create a page, and start selling your content regardless of what that content consists of. And to be honest, I'm not even entirely sure how any of this is legal. Clearly, the United States is in shambles right now. The government doesn't care about about this obviously and the parents who are supposed to be caring about this who are supposed to be watching over their kids are too busy on twitter arguing about politics and by the way shout out to drama queen go follow her she has good content and she obviously does not deserve to be harassed for trying to expose what she's exposing in this video however according to her this is the content that jenny was posting prior to getting banned on tiktok you know she's 15 or 14 right here she's in like some school girl outfit and here as you can see if i search up jenny poe pick tiktoks right here's one of the first videos that pop up actually is a lot of them but the one on top you're gonna see this she's dressed up in some hooters outfit and we already know hooters is an 18 plus restaurant for um adults who want to see basically hot girls while drinking alcohol and you know eating wings if you know what hooters is you know that you got to be an adult to be there i believe although i think kids can go there as well but in this other video you know she's doing the same thing you know she's just doing what sells on TikTok. 
TikTok what sells on Instagram. A girl selling her body online gets views, gets follows, gets likes from a lot of simps from guys of all ages. We already know how this goes and other female content creators will support this kind of content because they're doing the same thing. They want to collab. They want to grow their pages. They want to gain more followers because they can eventually monetize it, gain money, gain fame, and eventually become rich just like uh, Daniel Cohn. Daniel Cohn earned like what, $50 million in a year off of OnlyFans based on what she showed on her Instagram page. So it's clearly a big market and a lot of these girls are willing to sell their bodies for the bag. It is what it is. Now, would I allow my daughter to do something like this in the future? You, I don't even have to explain that. Like I'm not even allowing my kids to be on social media in the future. Like this shit is toxic. But yeah, you can clearly see why she's been banned from TikTok if she's been posting this kind of things. And look at her father in the video and her mom supporting this kind of content. They think it's cute. I, I just it's crazy out here but basically you know drama queen she was trying to expose this in this video you know she was just talking about the website talking about daniel Cohn, talking about jenny Popic, talking about how this all came to be and yeah that was that until a couple days later drama queen then decided to come out with this video titled exposing jenny Popic's mother and in this video basically the mom sending her threatening messages trying to get her to take the video down i believe the same mother as we can see right here with uh, the fupa or she's pregnant that's been pimping her daughter out since she was 11 years old i mean the audacity for a lot of these parents out here to not understand the implications of basically prostituting your children online and how that'll mess up their futures is astonishing but you know this is why this generation is so fucked i don't blame gen z for being as mentally ill as we actually are but let's take a listen to this tiktok at jenny Popark and a snapchat she posted and this has blown up into a whole thing with apparently a manager who's been emailing me back and forth all day the thing that i should do is just take the fucking video down like they're vars but i can't do that because it just makes it seem you know i pull i report on the facts i report on the truth and shit and i just go and take something down just because someone's asked me to there is no legal action involved so i don't know why this is blowing up into a huge thing <laughs> and fuck i'm just so i can't give you a word right now but you know <sighs> these are all their, their emails i've been sending back and forth i've been really professional because i don't know who these people are and i treat everyone with the utmost professionalism and she's you know this person has just treated me like shit from the very start you know i i get told a lot of things on social media every day but this uh <coughs> You know, with the magnitude of the situation that is currently happening with my sister Haley, and I'm, you know, I, everyone has been saying that they're there and I just can't reach out. It's just, it's too hard at the moment. I, it's just too hard for me. <laughs> so I've also got just my own shit happening and it's, I'll call back in a sec. Okay, so drama queen, you know, she's going through our time. She's stressed out in the video She basically explains that her sister has a tumor and she's in surgery and the fact that she's now being threatened by Jenny's mom and manager is compounding all that stress and making it worse. So yeah, I hope she recovers swiftly um, But drama queen she then proceeds to uh, link some screenshots in the pinned comment section of her video and here you can see this is from jenny Popic's mother the first photo says maybe that's why she has a brain tumor you dumb bitch referring to her sister she's suffering from your sins it happens but you probably wouldn't know nothing about that because you clearly look like the devil worshiper you atheist piece of garbage maybe you should start praying to god he may just hope your sister it's your fault your sister has a brain tumor you're a good for nothing piece of shit you're the one that should have a brain tumor not her wow that's terrible so i believe this was the first email that she sent prior to the one i just read she said oh girl you just don't know what's coming next i will do everything and anything in my power to shut you down trust me i will be contacting tiktok and letting them know that you have an only fans as well and they do not take kindly to that i will report you endlessly and relentlessly to like get you off your platform take it as a threat take it however you want it just make sure to keep 
one eye open when you sleep and make sure you watch your back. I mean, this is crazy. Maria, which is Jenny's mom, lives here in the United States and Drama Queen lives in Australia. What is she going to do? Witchcrafter. I mean, this is crazy. Here's another one from the mom saying, you're really going to get far worshiping the devil, lol. You're a complete disgrace. I hope you ride on hell where you belong. I hope God the Almighty doesn't save your worthless soul. And by the way, this is all just so fucking hilarious coming from a woman who's been pimping out her daughter since she was the age of 11. I mean, I'm pretty sure God wouldn't be so forgiving of that. However, it goes on to say, just know that people who don't believe in God will be doomed to the depths of hell. You disgusting scumbag. And you know, she basically just goes on to rip on Drama Queen even more. And the last one says, Drama Queen, you are definitely right. You are a drama queen. You are a liar a fake crier now lying about your sister having a tumor now your sister is trying to get a tumor for real you bitch wow this is evil evil maria um this is just completely disgusting behavior from maria and i see why now she has no issues with pimping out her daughter because she clearly lacks any morals she just wants to use her daughter as a cash grab a money grab it's absolutely disgusting i honestly don't know what kind of mother would support her 11 year old daughter starting out on musically up till now where she's 15 selling her body on fanfix a website just like only fans for money like you want to get rich off of your daughter it's pretty obvious at this point in time and it's like she should be put in prison for this this is child abuse this is child exploitation but for some reason she's out here still free in society and the audacity for her to you know make all these weird ass threats and talk about how your sister has a tumor because of your devil worshiping or whatever and how you're a drama queen and how you caused this and how she should have a tumor and you know just saying some very vile and nasty shit that no one ever especially a mother should say about another person who's someone else's daughter like it, it just wow the lack of empathy they say mothers are supposed to be heartwarming empathetic creatures you know after having babies and children and you know but nah bro jenny's mom maria is literally a demon like she's a demon i'm sorry in human form so genuinely maria ulysia go fuck yourself you're a terrible human being now as far as the jenny poppick situation is pretty similar to the daniel cone situation you know they're just trying to get rich these fathers and mothers are pimping their daughters out online in this digital age because they know it can make them a lot of money i mean i'm back on the instagram page if we take a look at the photos that she's been posting we can obviously see the problem she posted this picture only just a couple weeks after she turned 15 and there's no way in hell you can tell me that this isn't a problem here's another photo and that same collage another one another one another one and it just keeps going it keeps going it keeps going who the hell is behind the camera probably the mom and then you got all these grown-ass men in the comments basically condoning this calling her sexy beautiful pretty like come on billy taylor 58726 what's wrong with you man here we have another photo this was posted when she was 14 years old way too young for her in my opinion to be doing this kind of stuff she looks like she's about to head down to the club for the night and be on a stripper pole am i lying and you don't think she knows this? You don't think she's completely aware of the amount of power her body has online over young boys and men? Which is why her parents are allowing her to do this. And in my opinion, this is one of the downfalls of the digital age, you know? It's giving young girls an express way to monetize and get attention off of their bodies before they're able to understand the implications and the long-term effects that come with this. Right now, it's fun. It's cute to a lot of people. Oh, it's innocence. Oh, she's just posting bikini photos. You know, she wants to be a model one day, so this is all practice yeah yeah but let's not talk about the stories that happen with models let's not talk about all the ig girls that get flown out by different men all over the world just to get piped out and sent back home used and abused and then they wonder why they're on antidepressants in their early 20s and then when people like drama queen want to speak up about it then the parents want to come out and say you're the worst start threatening them and talking about how their family members deserve all kinds of illnesses like some things need to be talked about some things need to be said because for every jenny poppick out here with hundreds of thousands of followers online there are thousands more young girls all across the world trying to copy her trying to do what she's doing trying to twerk trying to dress in skimpy outfits trying to sell their bodies in hopes that one day they'll become famous and influential too but i'll leave it at that let me know your thoughts and opinions down below share the video like the video and comment below so more people can see this this will help spread awareness to the pervasive disease in our society for the chase of clout fame money views and how it's destroying us but yeah thank you for watching i appreciate all of you and until next time stay safe out there